Hey guys, it's Mama One here again with build number 14. Um, I've titled it Brownstone because that is what it's made out of. So uh, let's get right into it here. Um, we've got a fluid cow, which I didn't place. He just showed up. Hello. Anyway, this is the build. Um, as you can see, it's all made out of primarily brownstone. Got some decorative bushes and trees and flowers. There's the top in the back as always feel free to pause um, the video anytime you need to to get better dimensions or to recount um, I might go through them a little bit quick and I'm sorry about that but you know I'm trying to keep the videos to about 15 minutes or so sometimes it goes over sometimes it's a little less but is what it is um, we'll start here with the front porch and I use square brownstone bricks excuse me um, and I've got one two three four five the next row right behind it is seven one two three four five six seven and then the row behind it under the stairs and all that is going to be nine building off of building off of that I have brownstone road stairs and I have three where I place the corner ones this way so that I can get the little corner aspect there. And then the pillars, I used square brownstone bricks. And I've got one, two, three, four, five high on either side of the stairs. If you go in one, I have brownstone bricks. And it's one, two, three high on either side leaving an opening right in the middle this build is um, symmetrical so whatever is on the left side is going to be on the right side so it'll match so whatever you do on the left you're gonna do on the right and vice versa um, on the one two three fourth brownstone square brownstone brick I used the fancy brownstone brick slabs and I did three across. On top of these three brownstone bricks, I also did brownstone bricks, three across, and another three slabs to leave an opening. So it's on the top part of the brownstone brick here. I think. Yeah. And then I have another three brownstone bricks there. So the doorway is going to have the brownstone bricks all the way around like a horseshoe and then one more above it. Working off of the left side of the brown, square brownstone brick pillar, after this ninth row of nine, you're going to have one back here, two, three we'll do it this way one two three there's four five six seven eight nine ten to the corner and you're gonna go one two three four five six high and you're gonna have one two three four from the pillar and you're gonna leave an opening of three three by two for the window and then finish it off to the corner on the outside of all the windows on the left and right side I use the Sakura trap door you can open it if you want or close it however and then for the windows I use the glass pane with the gray border you can use whatever window you want of course so that's that wall this wall is going to match that wall. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on this side, you're also going to have ten. The window is a little different on this side. I know I said whatever you do on the left, you're going to do on the right. But anyway, it's a little bit different. So the one immediately to the right of the pillar. You have all the way with the Sakura trap doors here, the three by two window and the Sakura trap doors 
which would leave one, two, three, four, five to the right of the trap door. If we go, let's go to the left. If we go to the left, starting from this corner, this left side wall is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, all the way down to the next corner. And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six high is where we're going to stop for now. This window here is one, two, three, the fourth one you're going to leave open. And you're going to have one, two, three, four, five openings for the window. On either side, you have the Sakura trap door. And there's that window. From this trap door, you're going to go one, two, three, four, leave an opening of two, one, a one by two opening, one, one by two opening, and then you'll have three more blocks. And on either side of the window, again, is the, is the trap doors. This window is two from the bottom and one from the top here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, on the top one that you did, on the bottom part of that block is where I put the fancy brownstone brick slabs all the way. These brick slabs are going to continue all the way around the house. On the corner, the one that pokes out, I did the fancy brownstone brick. Oops, wrong way. And then next to it on either side of the corner is another slab. Okay. I hope this is helpful. Um, and I did this same corner design on all four of the corners of this part. The back side should match the front side, I think. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, I'm still learning. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, all the way across to the other corner, continuing the same design of the slab for this part here. The windows, I'm so sorry. I'm still learning to, to, to move around here. I apologize. Um, from the corner, you've got one, two, three, the third one you have two Sakura doors or trap doors, an opening of one by two for the window, a two by two for the Sakura, another opening for the window, and two Sakura trap doors. You're going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the tenth one. You're going to have the trap doors with the one by two window, four trap doors, a one by two window, and then two more trap doors, and then two should end your wall. From this Sakura trap door on the right, you go one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, you're going to leave an opening of a one by two for the door, and then, of course, the rest. The stairs are the same as the front with the one straight and then the two end ones. <clears throat> Oops. Oh my gosh. And then your windows here are the exact same as the windows on the left wall. So that takes care of the outside first floor, I guess. 
for the second floor. This is the one that was on top of this wall here that you continued up. We're going to go back one, two, three, four on the fifth one. You're going to add one, two, three. There's a fourth one back here of the brownstone bricks. And you're going to continue that all the way to the corner to match the wall down on the bottom. The windows on the, ah, I'm so sorry. So this is the one that is up here. So one, the second one up, you're going to have the Sakura trap doors. And then a one by two window, the trap doors, window trap doors. So you have two windows on your third trap door right next to it. You're going to have the three above these three blocks. You're going to have the three windows. And then you're going to match these windows to those, leaving you with two empty blocks on the right. On the top block that was back behind these stairs, you're going to put inverted brownstone paver stairs all the way around. And just continue it all the way around the top and around. From this corner here that we just did, you're going to go over two blocks and then you're going to leave a two wide opening for a doorway. which, and then you go, sorry, a uh, total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then a two wide uh, doorway, and then two more. And that'll take you all the way to the back as well. Um, from the doorway on the left, the second block over, you're going to have the two window or the two trap doors, and then your window area is going to be one, two, three, four wide and two high with the Sakura trap doors again. You're going to have three empty blocks and then the trap doors and then the window, trap door, and then you have your doorway. We'll go over on this side. The left side of the upstairs wall is going to match the right side. So it's going to be the exact same thing. If I can just maneuver my way around here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. The back side obviously matches the front side as far as dimensions. The windows are going to be a little different because there's no doorway. So you're going to have on the third block from the corner, you have your trap doors, the window, the trap doors, three wide window on the top only, trap doors, window, trap doors. You'll have three blanks blocks and then the trap doors, a window, Trap door, three wide window, trap door, window, trap door, and then two more to finish off the wall. On the top block back here, like I said, you're gonna have those inverted paper stairs all the way around the corner. And then you're gonna go in one to match this wall here. And you're gonna do regular paper store stairs, excuse me, all the way around the top. And then finish it off on the top with the brownstone brick slabs. Hopefully that made sense. I hope I didn't go too fast. Uh, let's see for the patio. You had these the six brownstone stair from this wall here that carried up that you have your slabs attached to. That's all the way around. As you can see, these are the ones that you'd already placed. I filled it in, which is also going to be the floor, but I filled it in with smooth brownstone. Now, 
I added something a little different. I added some glass, um, turbine glass legacy. Um, I don't know why I just picked it. It looked nice. Um, you can use whatever glass you want or not. Um, but from the center point here between these two windows, you're going to start with the middle and go one, two, three, four, five from the middle. One, two, three, four, five from the middle, and then carry it out to the brownstone bricks. On top of the brownstone bricks, I placed um, the glass pane called Japanese 2. Um, I did that all the way around the patio area, just so that I don't fall off when I walk up there. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty much the reason. Um, plus, aesthetically, it looks really nice. On top of the inverted stairs, I did put brown carpet just to avoid mob spawning, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Now, if we go inside. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This I liked making this one. I think, was this one a build or was this one of my creations? I think this was one of my creations. I think I did this one on my own. Um, and I really, really liked it. I thought it was really cool. Anyway, so, and for some reason I don't actually have a door. I don't know why, but anyway, you might want to put a door here. So, as soon as you walk in from the doorway, in the front, immediately to the left, I put the Japanese two glass pane as well as on the right. If you turn around, so you're looking at that. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, on the other side of the glass pane, I put on the bottom part of these blocks, I put the fancy brownstone uh, brick slabs on either side, left and right. The next block up, I did a fancy brownstone brick. Above it, I did another slab and carried it over one, two, three, four, five. Came down one and did another brownstone brick and did three of the slabs across. From this bottom slab on the third block over, I did one, two, three of the square brownstone bricks. And then above it, I did the fancy brownstone brick with the slabs going, sorry, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, shoot, I just lost count. My mouse is acting up, I'm sorry. If you look up, you see your glass that you did up on the patio. So, surrounding the exterior part of the glass, I did the brownstone brick slabs, as you can see, all right? We're gonna start on the, well, when you walk in, technically the left side here. So we've done this, we've done the slabs across and around, okay? We're gonna continue with the bricks here. You're looking at the window, you're gonna go Above the window, this is your patio floor. You're just gonna do the slabs all the way around this room, which I'll give you the dimensions, is from here, one, two, three, four, five, six in the corner, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the corner, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe. And that's gonna be, these are your exterior walls, so they're already there. So you're gonna do again on the corner, the square brownstone bricks with the fancy brownstone brick, and then the slab. In this corner, same thing, the brownstone brick, square brownstone brick with the fancy brownstone brick on top, slabs around the rest. This corner, you're not gonna do the pillar, you're just gonna carry these over. And then, 
Okay, so you got that. You got one, two, three, four. You've got five showing. On the sixth one, you're going to come out one and take those up. One, two, three, four. You're going to go over one, two, three, four. On that fourth one, you're going to come down one, two, three, four. In here, I believe this is open down to the bottom. So it jets in one. So you have one, two, and then back one more, one, two. And then I did the fancy, or the, I'm sorry, the glass pane Japanese two. On this pillar here, I did two of the Japanese panes. On top of that, I did a slab, and then the fancy brownstone brick slab, fancy slab. On that last slab, I did these two. This design is the same as that design there. The block above it, I did, I'm sorry, the slab, I'm sorry, the fancy brownstone. So it's an actual block, one, two, three, four, five, all the way across. This is so confusing, even for me. So that's that side. From this pillar here, you're going to go one, two, three, four to the right one. And then you're going to go back one and you're going to break this open to place your stairs. So your opening is going to be two by one, two, three, four. Around the opening, I did the Japanese two glass pane, which connects to this pillar here. I added the roses just for aesthetic purposes, but I just used the grass blocks here with the roses. Um, we did the stairs going down using the brownstone road stairs. We'll go into the basement here in a minute. Um, but you have your opening now. You have one block of the smooth brownstone and then I did glass again, which is two wide, keeping in line with the stairs. And one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Okay, which if you look, matches up to the doorway here. On the right side, we'll get to the stairs in a second, but to the right of when you walk in, Again, you have your slabs, which you've already placed. So from the slab, you have one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, you're going to do your brown, square brownstone bricks, going three high with the fancy brownstone brick on top, two blocks, the square brownstone with the fancy brownstone on top, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth one, you're going to do the Japanese panes. Three, one, two, three, four. This is the back of the stairs attached to the left side of the glass here. You have one, two, three, four high and then left of that you have one two three four the square brownstone bricks and then one two three four up so it's a four by four by four I don't look like a four by four anyway it's four by four um, all the way around connecting pillar to pillar you have the fancy brownstone bricks slab all the way going over here to the windows coming all the way around jetting around the corner coming back this way and then again coming back down to where the center of the bottom window is which you would have already placed that because that's the part that goes around the glass okay so that takes care of this little corner area I know this is confusing and I'm really sorry. Like I said, just 
pause it as you need to so that you can see what's going on. Oh my gosh, I'm already at 25 minutes. I'm not even halfway through this. Um, so you got one more coming in to the right and then you have your stairs going up, which is one, two, three, four, five stairs to meet the floor of the smooth brownstone. It's too wide. Using the square brownstone bricks to staircase up, which will end up being this back pillar here, this back wall here, it'll staircase up on either side of the stairs. And you have your opening, which is one, two, three, four wide by one, two, three, four, five. The sixth one is gonna go on top of this brownstone brick here. And around that, I did the Japanese um, glass. Over here is one, two, three of the brownstone brick, I'm sorry, the square brownstone, and then three blocks over to the right, you're gonna add another column of three of the brownstone bricks. In the middle, I did the slabs. And above this one is one, two, three, four, five of the fancy. This wall is already here. And then I have around the doorway, the Japanese, and then one, two, three, four. So connecting these glass panes on the top with the slabs, the block above it is gonna be the fancy, the corner is gonna be the fancy, and then slabs connecting from this back corner all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, this corner here is going to have the square brownstone with the fancy brownstone on top. And then to split this off, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the tenth one in the corner, you're going to have the square with the fancy. Of course, the slabs connecting all the way around. One, two, three. On the fourth one, you're gonna do your glass. Leave an opening for the door and then your glass and then one, two, three, and then your pillar. Above the glass, you're gonna connect it with the slabs. One block up is the fancy, fancy, and a slab in the middle. <clears throat> Excuse me. You come through this doorway, you look behind you, you have the glass again, the slab, Dang it, the slab's connecting with the fancy on top. And then again, the same with the corners, the three pillars of the square with the fancy and the slabs connecting all the corners. And on this corner here, you're gonna come over one, leave your two, oh, or you're gonna have your two opening here. You're gonna put another square brownstone with the fancy and the slab um, for the aesthetic on the door. And that's pretty much it for the upstairs. Now, for the downstairs. Not this downstairs. This main doorway here. You come in. Immediately to the left, you have slab, slab. And look, right behind it is your water. On the left, you have slab, slab. If you look at this doorway, you have one, two, three slabs and then a brownstone brick with the fancy three across, brownstone brick, slab, slab, slab. And your slabs go all the way across just above the doorway. You come over from this slab, you go in, you have one, two, three, two for the doorway and one, two, three, four, and the fifth one there is in the corner. On your doorway, you have your two uh, windows, two windows on the right, slab. The doorway is done the same as all the other doorways. Same thing on the right. The right matches the left identically here on the doorways. Um, at the end here, 
in the middle you have the two glass panes fancy fancy two glass fancy fancy and then slab slab and then of course slabs connecting everything all the way around so you come in this doorway here these this wall is already up this wall is already up you do your doorway the same as all the other doorways, corners the same as all the other corners, and the slabs the same as all the other slabs in all the other rooms. You go directly across, it's the same thing with the doors, with the corners. I know the corner over here is a little different. Um, you can do it how you want, but this is how I wanted it. Um, and then again, you know, you have your glass there from the other side. It's all the same. Same concept all the way through. So that takes care of that. Now we go downstairs. And let's see. It is one, two, three, four, five stairs down, double. Uh, just like the stairs up there, you're going to have the staircasing up with the fancy on either side. Um, I tried to leave the downstairs as open as possible. Um, so you will have to dig down. Total of downstairs wall is one, two, three, four. Because this is the floor upstairs. So from the floor, adding one, two, three, four down. And then your floor again corner same thing as always and then you're gonna go over one two three four five six on the seventh one you're gonna do your pillar thing one two three four five six seven on the eighth one you're gonna do another pillar thing and then one two three four five six on the seventh one you should be at the corner and do the other pillar and then one two three four five six on the eighth one again the pillar one two three four five six seven eight nine tenth one you should be in the corner with another pillar one two three four five six seven eight ninth one you do a pillar one two three fourth one you do a pillar and then one two three four five six seven eight ninth you should be in the corner with another pillar and then one two three four five six seven eight nine tenth one you have your pillar one two three four five six seven eighth one should bring you back to your original pillar here that we started with now this is your waterfall from upstairs, which is my favorite feature. Um, so if you just break the floor that was upstairs, you're gonna go down one, more, one deeper than your floor. Same dimensions as up there, and I put the glass pane around it. The water is one up. So here's the ceiling, or here's that block from the main room, sorry, the main room down here. I went one more block up to place my water so that it would flow all the way down. And then I did one block further down so that it wouldn't overflow onto the floor. And I did the same thing on this side. I think it's a cool little feature to have. No reason, just because I liked it and I wanted to do something different. Um, I really, really hope that this wasn't too difficult to follow. I do apologize if it was. I don't do it on purpose. Um, I know the video is getting a little long and I know people don't like long videos. Um, but again, it's just, I really like this build. It was, it's different. It's unique. Um, it has a lot of space, a lot of room to do whatever you want to do with it. You can add, subtract make it your own um, if you do use the build uh, for something use your own blocks whatever use your own creativity and do something really unique with it something different from what i have done please do feel free to share that with me i would love to see what you've done um, if i can encourage or spark somebody's creativity i am 
thrilled to know about it. And I'm also curious. So please do feel free to share. Um, leave your comments and questions below. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And if you like the video, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. I have over 300 builds. Hopefully I didn't lose all of them. And I'm planning to post them all eventually. Um, I just have to do them one at a time, obviously. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.